Yo, what is up guys? It's JJ2K and in today's video we are going to be going over the top 10 badges you guys need to have on all of your guys' players. These work for every single archetype and every single position in NBA 2K17. So without further ado, let's hop into this. Also, I will say this is not really a top 10, more or less these are just the 10 badges that I feel like are the best. Now number 1 out of 10 is Dimer. Now this one should be an obvious badge for everybody that's watching this video. Not only is it the best badge in the game, it's the ultimate team badge. So if you want your team to get better, this is the first badge you guys need to get. For example, on why this badge is such a good badge, let's say you are a playmaker or any position more or less and you're running with a glass cleaner. And the glass cleaners usually cannot shoot. But if you guys have at least Dimer on Braun, it will change the way that glass cleaners shoot. That Just that badge in general will make your team chemistry, how you play, and everything involving team play so much more enhanced. Now number two is by far the best shooting badge in NBA 2K17. Now I'm ruling out every single badge for this. I'm saying it's better than difficult shots, limitless range. Every badge you guys can think of shooting wise, I feel like it's better. Now why I think this. Not only does this turn any archetype into a sharpshooter, give me any archetype with a lower 3 of like 60 or lower without catch and shoot and give it catch and shoot and show me the difference. My slasher has like a 60 something 3 and he literally sinks 3's from the top of the key with catch and shoot. I know lockdowns with 52 threes, they shoot like gods because of the catch and shoot badge. It's really that simple. Catch and shoot will make or break your jump shot. If your jump shot is broken, make sure you guys have catch and shoot. Now the third badge is another shooting badge and why I feel like this one is so important. If you guys play any type of park, any type of pro-am, especially in pro-am, corner threes are the killer of any team. If you give up a bunch of corner threes, you're going to lose the game. Now why corner specialist badge is so important. It increases the shots that you guys take from the corners. Now corners are the most OP place to shoot from in the game. If you're wide open in the corner, just give anybody the shot. If they have corner specialist, 90% of the time it's green if they're wide open. And that's why I feel like if you have corner specialist, you will turn into a way better shooter. Now obviously we're not talking about a sharpshooter or a stretch big in this scenario because they can get him on Hall of Fame. Now the fourth badge we're going to hop into, my favorite personal badge in the game is Acrobat. Not only does it give you a boosted percentage when you guys are taking either contested layups or changing shot layups, I do this all the time, I always change my layups in midair just because it looks so brazzy, but not only that, is because it is so hard to miss with the Acrobat badge. It pops up no matter what, even if you don't take a, a contested layup, it will boost your percentage on layups. If you like have this badge, you will definitely see a difference between having Acrobat and not having Acrobat. Acrobat is also, in my opinion, um, for a slasher, if you guys, if, if anybody has a slasher and realizes how good Acrobat is, please comment down below and back me up because not a lot of people have this badge and they need to. Now, number five is difficult shots. Now, why I have this in my list is not only the fact that shot clock cheese happens so much and you guys always wonder why, it's because of this badge. Now, this badge goes hand in hand with Tyler Score, so that's why I didn't put Tyler Score in this countdown. But not only does difficult shots bail you out, the amount that you guys, you guys won't realize it, but if you actually look at how you guys play, the amount of contested shots you will take in a game is honestly crazy. So this bails you out of every contested shot you take. So let's say you pull up on three people by accident. I mean, you can mess up with a dunk and accidentally take a pull up jump shot. This will pop up. This will bail you out of so many attempts. Me, at least me in general, take it for granted. So at least get that badge. Now number six is pick and roll maestro. Now I know a lot of people do not know this. The person with the ball and the person without the ball gets a bonus whenever you set a screen. So let's say the center has pick and roll maestro and the guard has pick and roll maestro. Not only will the center get the boost, but the guard will get the boost as well. So if the center sets a screen like a glass cleaner and then pops out for a three, he will get the shooting bonus. Now not only does pick and roll maestro give you a pass bonus, it also gives you a shot bonus. So this will increase both your shot and your passing ability and that is why it's such a crucial badge to have. It is such a team badge, at least on the twos. On the twos, you will have, you need this badge. It is so crucial. And if you guys are a playmaker point forward and have it on Hall of Fame, you guys will know how crucial it is. Now, number seven, I would say 80% of the community does not have this badge, and I have no idea why. It's so simple to get, and this is pick dodger. It is so crucial for the twos, 
I would say this is a top five badge in the game, honestly. Um, it, it seriously eliminates brick wall. Why I say that is because if you guys don't know what pick dodger does, it's kind of obvious, but you can dodge picks. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to go below the screen, go above the screen, whatever. You can just run into the screen and 80% of the time you guys can just abide by the screen. So the screen's not going to knock you over. You might get bumped, don't get me wrong, but you're not going to get brick walled every time you run into a screen. Now I know me personally, as a guard, I hate whenever I get brick walled and this is definitely a badge you guys need to have. Now we're hopping into number 8 and this badge is Pickpocket. Now this badge is probably the most common badge in NBA 2K17 just because of the fact if you put this on rookie, in my career it's an instant rip and you get it one or two games, it's literally the easiest badge in the game. But besides that, if you guys know how to spam the steal button with the right analog stick and you have pickpocket, I would say this is one of the most OP badges in the game. The amount of animations that steals have in this game is unreal. Just watch a video or go to the park and you will see guards, centers, whatever position spamming to get a steal. The steal is so common in this game that this badge increases it so much that the fact that you can get a steal so easy, it's it just, it'd be stupid not to have this badge. So if you don't have pickpocket, I really don't know what you're doing. This is by far the easiest badge in the game and it literally gives you instant rips. So definitely go get this badge and if you don't have it already, I don't know what's up with you. But number 9, this is definitely a badge everyone needs, Hustle Rebounder. This gives your team so many more chances to score. Now when I say that, the amount of opportunities you guys have, whether it be on 2s, 3s, or pro am, are slim. So if you guys can get as much boards as you guys could possibly have, that's just going to enhance your guys' team to be able to win the game. Now it's very simple to get, all it is is 80 offensive rebounds, I got it on all of my positions except for my 5'7 guard, now obviously that's going to be very challenging to get, but if you have a decent sized player, at least go get Hustle Rebounder, it is not hard to get, it increases the chance to be able to grab a rebound. Now my 6'8.4 it snags over glass cleaners because I have this badge. Honestly very curious, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have this badge. How many of you guys have Hustle Rebounder? Let me know down in the comment section below. So let's hop into the 10th and final badge. Now not only is this badge very important, but if both of you guys have this badge, all three of you guys, whatever you guys play, if your whole team has this badge, you will be a tank on defense. Now I have this on bronze, I could not imagine having this on Hall of Fame as a lockdown. Now what this badge does, is it makes your opponents, when you contest a shot, it makes their shooting percentage fall drastically. Now pulling up inside of a lockdown defender's face with Hall of Fame defensive stopper, I would say, I mean it is so hard to make a 3 in a lockdown defender's face, you guys should know that. Not only does that, but it also drops your badges whenever you take a shot in front of defensive stopper. This is the ultimate defensive badge in the game, and this is a must-have badge. Now, I know a lot of these might be common badges. The defensive stopper, in my opinion, is one of the best badges in the game. I've said that a lot in this video, but this is why it's a top 10. Defensive stopper is so crucial. It is so easy to get. You just have to contest shots in my career. That's all I gotta say. So go get that badge, bro. Defensive stopper is by far one of the best badges. But yeah, in ending, I will give you guys a couple bonus badges right now as we're talking. Um, charge card for pro M that is so important to get. It, you get so many more charge animations with that badge. So go get that badge. Another badge you guys could also get. Now these are mostly for pro M I will say. Break starter, that is a very good badge to get. If you guys have ever played pro M before, you guys know those stupid animations where you throw from one side of the court to the other, and it goes 15 feet above someone's head. Break starter will stop that animation from happening. And my last and final bonus badge I will say to go get is debating about this one to put in my top 10, but I felt like I put too many shooting badges already in the video, so this is why it's in the bonus. It is mid-range Deadeye. Now, this badge bails me out of so many jump shots. Like, taking mid-range, at least in this game, in the twos, majority of them are going to be contested, so this is a great badge to have. And if I would have to say, this would be the 11th badge you guys would need to get. I'm here and I'm still talking. You guys might as well just get every single shooting badge in the game. Now, shooting badges in this game will make any position turn into a shooter. This game is really broken when it comes down to that, but if you guys are actually, like, very interested in being a shooter, and you might be a slasher with a low three, or any position with a low three, I would just say go out and grind every single shooting badge, and that'll set you up to be at least a decent park player, pro-amp player, whatever. Badges in this game are crucial, you need them, 
So that is one thing why this video is so important I feel like I should post. Let me know down in the comment section below if I did get these badges right. Let me know what badges you guys think are your top 10. So with that, it's been your boy JJ2K. I am out. Peace.